Team Jackson, what's happening? So earlier, some of y'all saw, I was on a live chat with my boy Ken, and we were just talking about healthy relationships from a man's perspective and all that good stuff, but I saw some comments of women saying, you know, how do you know when to walk away from a relationship that's not necessarily abusive or, you know, cheating or going on or nothing like that, like no big deal breakers, so it's not that clear cut. How do you know when it's time to walk away if clearly two people are unhappy or at least they're unhappy? And I'll say this, first off, I'm a big fan of fighting for your relationship. I'm a big fan of not walking away or running away or throwing in the towel at a moment that trouble arises, but at the same time, I need everybody to understand something. You deserve to be fought for too. You shouldn't be the only one scratching the claw and biting and everything else to keep that thing together that you didn't build by yourself. And another thing you need to understand is one of the most painful places to be in a relationship is trying to decide whether or not you should walk away or stay and keep going. And it's so painful because a lot of times you're thinking like, you know, in the beginning, this particular person, they showed all of this enthusiasm, excitement and optimism about being in this space in your life, about having this commitment. And now that energy is gone. So now you're wondering if it was ever real from the very beginning while having no doubt it was real for you from the very start. So you're not just fighting for the relationship to come back to what it was. Now you're fighting the doubts about who they are. You're fighting the fear that it might be exactly what, it's prob what it probably is. You fighting for all of that as well. And the entire time you fighting is costing you. It's costing you because you're also battling the thought like, am I getting led on? And nine times out of 10, you are. But it's not necessarily in a, in a traditional malicious sense of a person leading you on from the very beginning. A lot of people will lead you on in a relationship because they've gotten to a point where they're not so sure if they really want to be in anymore. Whether they're looking outside a relationship or something going on internally, maybe they changing, they don't know how to articulate it. Whatever the excuse is, they've gotten to a point where they're not sure. So they mentally checked out while phys physically staying in so that you don't check out whether mentally or physically. Like they want to keep you in, keep access to you while they remain unsure. But in that process, because of course, if you love somebody, you're willing to go through some discomfort. You're willing to give them space or whatever. But the whole time you fighting, you wanting to have the conversations. You wanting to approach things in a more healthy way. You wanting to read articles about healthy relationships, watch sermons, talk to mentors, preachers, whoever. You want to watch videos like this, trying to find a way to make this thing work. But it's just you. And you know how they say, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't love from an empty cup. At some point, you're going to run empty. Guess what? Fighting a fight by yourself that was meant for two people, it has the exact same effect. It'll run you empty in the exact same way. Now, some of y'all are not necessarily in that situation, so I don't want to be all grim like you can't bounce back from this after you've been through this before you can not pour your own cup of self-love back full and let it run it over but that's a whole different process and i go in detail about it in my book don't forget your crown so if that's where you're at click the link in the caption i just extended the 50 percent off sale but it ends soon but moral of the story is this the reason why you're fighting for this thing the way that you're fighting for is because you want it you want it but guess what you didn't start this thing wanting it alone that's not that's not how all of this began but if you've gotten to a point where you're sure it's just you wanting this, then it's time for it to finish. And you got to do the right thing by yourself. And you got to finish it. So, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Again, don't forget your crown is 50% off at the link in the caption. I'll let y'all later. Peace.